Is this thing on? Ah, yes. There we go. Hello, my name is Jessica Schrecker and I'm an ecologist specializing in the symbiotic relationship between lichenid butterflies and ants. Why dedicate my entire life's work to these special species? Well, it's simple. They have such a wide variety of associations that it's hard to ignore. They can be either parasitic, mutualistic, and within those categories they can be either obligate or facultative. Not really sure what I mean? Well, let's go to my Australian friend Nemo for more information. Hello friends, my name's Nemo and I'm a lepidopterologist. In other words, I'm a scientist who studies butterflies. I'm here today to talk to you about Lycinidae butterfly. These butterflies are quite common here in Australia, especially because they love our climate. Who's to blame them? I believe we have some of the best weather here in all the world. It's almost like a tropical vacation, all day, every day. It's awesome. It can be quite dry and arid here, but you know what? It's home, and also home for the Cindy butterfly. Just imagine a tropical vacation all the time. Incredible. Now back for the Lacinidae butterfly. These species are quite incredible in my opinion. There's over 500,000 of them. Wow, that's a lot of cousins. Here in Australia, we've got tons of them too. Right down here where my mom lives in Queensland, there's over 125 species of them. If you move up north to Townsville, you could find 102 species of them. Unfortunately in Tasmania, you could only find about 9 species of them. But every species does something different with these ants. These ants and butterflies love to have some sort of symbiotic relationship. Some of them are mates, some of them are enemies. But we'll look into that some more later. Now, when it comes to symbiosis between the ants and the butterflies, it's not directly with one another, but more so their larvae, or in other words, the caterpillars. Now, if I saw one of my friends out there, I'd try to help them as they do for me. Well, the ants and butterflies are kind of the same. Before a young, beautiful butterfly comes about, they need to be larvae first, from caterpillars. Now, these caterpillars can be preyed upon by some mean, vicious creatures. Some of them are parasitic wasps, some of them are territorial flies. I don't know, but it's crazy. Life of a caterpillar or larvae is not so hot. These ants come to the rescue, kind of like that movie. What's it called? Oh wait, I think it's ants. These guys come in, doing their karate, kicking away these flies and wasps. They're just kicking butt and taking names, just to protect these buddies of theirs, the larvae. But the weird thing is, before time, these Lacinia butterfly were actually preyed upon by these very same ants. Why all of a sudden they come mates? You ask. Well, let me explain. These types of butterflies have developed this crazy type of gland that can secrete this nice delicious substance that the ants absolutely love. They come up, have a little bit to eat, and say, hey mate, I'm going to help you out. In return, these ants protect these larvae so they can grow up to become nice beautiful butterflies. Now that is called a mutualistic relationship. One buddy gets something, the other buddy gets something. Everybody's happy. But sometimes, these butterflies are kind of mean, tricky you know, almost like a woman from time to time. How you ask? Well let me tell you. First, the caterpillars start off with secreting that same little delicious substance that the ants love to smell so much. They take a little whiff, they want a little taste, they walk on over. They have a little something something, the larvae is being all nice and friendly, they're protecting them. Same as usual. But then all of a sudden, the larvae turns on them. What a wanker, right? These larvae had the nerve to distract these ants, bring them over, try to be friends with them, and out of nowhere, they start eating them. That sounds like total anarchy, but it's not. This is called a parasitic relationship. Now, of course, being a super genius scientist like I am, I got big fancy fancy words for these kinds of relationships. Would you like to hear them? Great. First word, five syllables. Myrmacophily. Say it with me. Myrmacophily. Incredible. This means ant loving. In most instances, these kinds of larvae just hang out with the ants. You know, mutualistic kind of relationship. Now, of course, some butterflies require these ants or they will never come to life and be as beautiful. 
These are called the obligate miramakofili. Now, that's the fair mutualistic relationship. Our second word is aphitophogus. Aphitophogus. This means non plant eating. These larvae prey upon immature ants. Those poor buggers. You could say this kind of relationship is the parasitic relationship. Well, that does it for me, mates. And if you have any questions, come on down to Australia. We'll grab some surf and turf. We'll go kick it by some barbecue. Go see some kangaroos. And then I'll show you some butterflies. Butterfly, fly away. Butterfly, fly away. Not your